sleep on the mattress. Me, yeah, yeah. my wife, my two children, 2017, we shift in Tanzania. And we rent the house. We have nothing. We have nothing. We say, Father God, you said in Tanzania, it's your plan. And then, after that, my work, my, my visa, na visa yake is going to expire. And then, I call to my one friend. He said to me, where are you? I say I'm at home. He says, okay, I'm coming to your home. And then, that man, I want to tell you, he's a number one richest man in Arusha. One number one is a richest man in Arusha. He has a Lodia industry. He is, and then, I call him. He said, my visa is going to expire. He said, I am coming to your home. And then he come my home. He's a rich man. He's coming to your home. Only one mattress. And then I say, where he will sit. I go to my neighbor. I take one kitty. And then he sit on the kitty. And for his wife, he sit with us on the mattress. And then I go in the room, in the kitchen. I have a broken, broken cup. I break the chai for them. That is 2017. 2017. 17. And after that, time is going. And God start to bless us. His God start to open the door. And then me, one day, me and my wife, we are sitting together. We are praying together. And then my wife saying, We are here for not so long in Tanzania. Our children, they don't go to school. Our children should go to school. I say, okay, we will see the Sarkari school. But they will go to Sarkari school. And then we say, it's okay. And one day, one day, we meet our one friend. He is from India. He is playing guitar in Tanzania. He is very powerful worship. And then he's saying, I go to the one school. He, he, I play, I teaching the guitar. He is an inter, international school. Are you with me? Are you with me? Please, you will come to my school and for admission your children. I have no money. No money. In Arusha. International school. Arusha Mataifa. International school. Shulak Mataifa. This language. This language. It's very expensive. It's very expensive. But I go in the school. I meet with the Muzungu director. And then and then then she said to me, four months. Four months for your two children's school fees is 10 million. Ni million kumi. Oof! In my home! We're sleeping on the floor! I pay for 10 million! For the school fee for my children. Are you from Pakistan? How I can pay 10 million? 
milioni 10 hapa Tanzania. If you sleeping on the floor. Na unalala tu chini unapataje hiyo pesa? And then I say okay goodbye mzungu. Akamwambia mzungu naomba tu nenda tutafadhali. Goodbye. Nenda tutafadhali. This is very expensive. Hii ni gharama sana. And then next day. Na siku inayofuata. I pack my bag. Akaweka begi yake vitu. I go to mission trip in Kondoa. Akaenda kwenye huduma ya Mungu Kondoa kule. How many people na Kondoa? Wangapi wanajua huko Kondoa? Mie tu Dodoma. Eh karibu na Dodoma si mungu. I go there. Nilienda pale. I preaching. Nikahubiri injili for Friday. Kwa Juma Saturday. Juma Mosi Sunday. Juma pili. I preaching the word of God. Nikao na hubiri injili tu. And then Monday. Na siku ya Juma tatu. My friend. Rafiki yake. He's call me. Akampigia simu. He say to me. Akamwambia, is the director Mzungu she want your phone number. Yule Mzungu mkurugenzi anataka namba yako simu. I say okay you can. Nikamwambia mbe tu. Just keep my number. Wimpe namba yako hamna shida. And then and he give me his her number. Na akampa namba yake. She call me. Akampigia. She say I want to meet with you. Akasema nataka nikutane na wewe. I say I am in Kondoa. Nikamwambia niko Kondoa kule. Maybe tomorrow I will come to see you. Labda kesho nitakuja nikuone. And then I come to Monday I come to Arusha. Sasa Jumatatu yake akaja hapa Arusha. Next day I go to school. Na siku ya pili akaenda shuleni pale. I meet with Mzungu. Akakutana na yule Mzungu. And Mzungu give me two admission form. Na yule Mzungu akampa fomu mbili za kwanza. She said fill up this form. Akasema jeza fomu hizi sasa. I said don't have money. Nikamwambia sina hizo pesa baba. For 10 million. Milioni 10. I don't have. Sina kabisa. Check your neighbor. Akamwambia hebu msikize jirani yako. Sleeping or waking. Kuna lala au ni nini jamani? Hebu mtikize hapo. Hebu mwangalie amelala kuna nini lala hapo? Hebu mtikize kabisa. Kuna nini lala? Lift up your hand. Hebu irudi kwa yako namna hii. I don't know why. Sijui ni kwa nini? Because I have the power of God. Kwa sababu nina nguvu ya Mungu. Holy Spirit is here. Roho Mtakatifu iko hapa. Today is your day. Hii ni siku yako leo. Say to God. Mwambie Mungu, I am a chosen. Mimi nimechaguliwa. Say I am a chosen. Sema nimechaguliwa. Say I am a chosen. Nimechaguliwa. Today is your day. Hii ni siku yako leo. Today is your day. Leo ni siku yako. God is opening the door. Mungu anaenda kufungua milango. Spiritually, physically, financially in your life today. Kimwili na kwa maisha yako leo hapa. Just receive today. Hebu pokea leo. Just receive today. Hebu pokea leo. Today is your day. Leo ni siku yako. God is going to open the door. Mungu anaenda kufungua milango yako. All over the world for you. Kila duniani kote kwa ajili yako. All over the world for you. Duniani kote kwa ajili yako. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Everyone say amen. Kila mmoja aseme amen. 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 And then, na kisha, and Mzungu, yule Mzungu sasa, is the director of the school. Yeye ni mkurugenzi wa shule ile. He give me two admission form. Akampa zile fomu mbili za kwanza. She said fill the this form. Sasa nijaze fomu hizi. I say I will not ten million. Akambe mimi sina milioni 10. She said just fill the form. I said I fill the form. Akajaza ile form. I give to her. Akampa yeye. She and then na kisha sasa. She give me two bags. Akampa ni begi mbili. She said one bag. Akasema begi moja. For your daughter. Kwa msichana wako. For your son. Na mtoto wako kiume. But I say I don't have money. Akasema mimi sina pesa. Ten million I don't have. Milioni 10 siwezi kwa nani. She said this is for bag for your children. Akasema hii ni begi kwa watoto wako. For your children. And then she said to me, Na kamambia, Yesterday, Jana, In the morning, Asubui, Someone, Mtu moja, Someone, Mtu moja, Is coming to school, Kaja shuleni, He pay your children fee for six months, Ame lupia watoto hapa ada ya shule kwa miezi sita, And tomorrow, Na kesho, You send your children in the school, Walete watoto hapa hapa shuleni, And then next day, Na asiku ifuatayo, I send my children in the school, Aka peleka watoto shuleni, And then one month, Na mwezi moja, Two months, na miezi ya pili and then six months na miezi sita sasa is finished ile sasa ya ameimeisha school director na yule mkurugenzi wa shule he 
is changed. New director comes. And when six months finished, and school fee finished, because that person, he paid only for six months. And director also changed. And new director comes from America. And we go to the same church. In the same church. And then new director said to me, I want to meet you. And then I thinking myself, he want to he want to he want to talk with me about school. Fee. <laughs> and then I said to him, after the church, you will come to my home for lunch. And then after that, we will go in the church and we and I take them my home and we eating the chakula together and then after that he give me two paper he, what he give me he give me two paper he saying what this is your daughter and this is for your son when I receive the paper and I start to read I start to weeping do you know why do you know why on the paper on the paper he's writing your children is now up to a level 